Hi guys and welcome to back to another Minecraft video. Today we are going through how to survive your first night in Minecraft. Now this is in addition to our first other video, how to survive your first day in Minecraft. If you haven't watched that video and in the Apple to Zombie series, it should you can just go to my channel home pay channel and search it up. So today, I am going to show you how to survive your first night. So, if you want to survive your first night in Minecraft, you should, this is what I like to do when I first start out. So first of all, if you have a bed, which I did not manage to find a bed, it can be kind of hard to do that, especially if you have more than one person in your game, then you can place your bed and just right click on it or like as if you were going to place a torch or something and sleep in it. There's two other approaches though if you were not able to find a bed. The first, the, the first approach is to um, keep mining under your shelter and try to find some iron which is like minecraft's version of metal so i'm gonna just do that for a second and and then upgrade stone tools if you mine enough stone so just mine a little under your shovel your shelter with your wooden tool but if you're also if you're feeling really brave for some reason you could also go outside like a, I don't know and just run around I literally don't see a hostile mob oh yep I see one over there but I literally don't see a hostile mob I mean I guess I could go over there and see, check it out well right here is a zombie Zombies are basically the most annoying mob. They're basically annoying mobs that you just. Oh my gosh, it takes so long. So that's a zombie. Um, let's see if I can find two other hostile mobs that I want to show you guys. So that was a zombie. I also want to try to find a creeper and a skeleton. Ow. <laughs> Let's see. Um, oh, so while we're looking, oh, I see one. Well, while we're looking, oh, yep. Yeah. Here's a skeleton. Basically, what skeletons do is when they see you, they turn around and start shooting at you. They're also what I classify as an annoying. They can drop some pretty good stuff. Over there is a creeper. Which is a mob that runs up to you and explodes. But I want to go over there right now. Oh, yeah, here comes another annoying person. Oh, seriously. Oh, and here's the baby zombie. They can be very, very annoying. Okay, anyways, so that's a witch. Don't even get close to these if you don't have like an iron sword or something. What those do is they throw, oh my gosh, she's walking towards me. They throw potions at you. Oh my gosh, I feel like she's following me even though she hasn't noticed me. Okay. Oh yes, and there's one last hostile mob. Although it's not hostile unless it's dark out. These are called spiders. They are very... Although they have less health um, they, than a normal mob. They are very agile, and they can jump really high and stuff. Okay, so let's go and see a creeper. Also, make sure, I know where my shelter is, it's way over there, you can see a little bit of light in the distance. I'm not gonna even go near that witch. Is there another creeper? Oh uh, yeah, the creeper's over here now. Good. Now the, now the witch won't have to come over here and- Ow. 
Oh yes, and there was another creeper. Basically, they just will go up and be very annoying. And just make big holes in the ground. This can be very annoying if you build a shelter. And then you're walking around your shelter. And then they just walk over and go boom. Oh my gosh, do not fall in there. So these are ravines. If you're getting just started out, actually these are pretty good. I don't know why I found a ravine. But um, basically they're really good for mining. Because in here, you'll find a lot of exposed ore. In fact, there should be a lot of exposed ore. But for some reason I see, well I see coal. But I see like no exposed ore down there, seriously. But more coal over there. There's coal. Okay, I, w I don't know why. There's no more, there's no ore in there. Okay, whatever. I'm getting hungry, so I'm gonna take out my cooked molten. Oh, and also, if something drops one of these, you can actually put it in that slot. It puts it arm, and it gives you, now you can see these little... It's over my heart bar. It gives you this little, um, it's like the little armor things. That, that means I have armor on. It's only gold armor, so, and it's only a helmet, so it won't give me that much more armor. But, um, yeah. So now we, we're here to our second day. So, at your set, by the way, zombies and skeletons burn in sunlight, but witches, which are very, the very annoying witches, and um, zombies don't. So, on your second day here, here's some of the stuff I recommend doing. I recommend going around and see these little grass. Just keep mining these, but only mine the tall grass. See the short grass? Don't mind those. I know I just said that. You can also go out and get some of these animals. And also I can take, if you really feel, if you see some of these flowers, the only re the way that they're helpful for is decoration. Wait, and it, did I just like destroy them? I don't know why I didn't get any flowers. Wait. Oh, yay. This is a flower horse. Why am I not getting... Wait, these swords destroy flowers? Wait, if I use, like, wool to destroy a flower? Oh my gosh. Why don't any of the flowers actually drop flowers? What if I use the feather? Tickle, tickle. Aw. Why don't the flowers drop flowers? Oh my gosh, this is so weird. Um, maybe I should use dirt. Um, now that doesn't make sense. Let's stop destroying flowers so that we don't destroy all the flower species. But anyways, um, yeah, they, they should drop flowers. I don't know why the, when you, see, they drop nothing. And I don't have flowers in here. Oh, yes. There we go. Um. So if you, these seeds, just try to collect those. How you get those is you just keep breaking these tall grass things. I think my shelter's over there. It's harder to locate it, there, but I, I know it's over there. Just keep trying to destroy these things until you have like, I would recommend like five seeds. I don't know if something's wrong with the drops, but whatever. I'm not getting seeds anymore either. Doesn't seem like I'm getting seeds. Not every. By the way, every time when not every time when you mine these, you'll get some seeds. Anyways, that just about does it for today's video. Um, I hope you liked it. Also, just um. So if you're wondering if you got those seeds and you're wondering what to do with them, wait, where's where did I put my shelter? Wait, where's that ravine? So the ravines over here, right? Oh, sorry. Um, where did I put my shelter? Well, if the ravines right here, let's not just r run right into it. But if the ravines right here, that means the shelter's somewhere around here. Mm -hmm. 
So here's the beach. Where's the witch? Oh, there's where the creeper blew up. So I believe it's this way. Huh. Well, that just about does it for today's video. Um. So if you manage to uh, find your shelter again. Oh, yeah, I think it's right there in that dirt mound over here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in this dirt mound. Oh, yep, yeah, okay. Sorry. So if you manage to get more than one seeds, then you can get more wood, and then you should be able to craft a hoe. You'd craft this hoe. You'd use it on some dirt. Like, like, you'd use the item, and then you put the seeds in the dirt, and then put, like, a torch next to it, and then the seeds will grow into wheat. Once it looks, like, fully grown, then you can, like, destroy the wheat and get the wheat, and then if you have three wheat, you can craft it into bread. Okay, so that's all for today's video. Also, if I get 50 likes on this video, I will also start a, a different series for my channel, too. Which will be, um, if I get 50 likes, I'll have a new branch of my channel, which will be where I do more of the fun, some fun videos. Where I'll, I'll do more, like, I'll play with my friends and stuff on here, and we'll do, like, challenges instead of actually, like, doing more tutorials. So that's if I get 50 likes on this video and 50 subscribers. Okay, so thanks for watching. See you in the next video.